Congresswoman Claudia Tenney from upstate New York. Um, Claudia, thank you very much. I assume you voted. Um, Claudia, what can you tell us? First of all, this is ballot three. Um, I don't think we're going to go 133 ballots like we did in 1856. We might go nine, which we did in the modern era in uh, 1923. Happy New Year. You look like a million bucks. Give us a little inside baseball. What's cooking? Yeah, Happy New Year. Well, uh, we're, we're under our third ballot. Luckily, my name is at the end of the alphabet, so I get to vote last so I can uh, be here with you. But Thank you. Uh, it's pretty unprecedented at this moment. I think that right now, I really think the Republicans need to start sticking together. Uh, I've, I've been, I've listened to all the, the conferences. I've listened to uh, everybody's discussions. But right now, we have our government uh, really in disarray, and we really need to get it together. We are seeing the American people dependent on what we can do as Republicans. We're the last best hope right now. While we have a Senate that's run by the Democrats, we have the, the administration, which is, you know, freewheeling uh, emer uh, executive orders, uh, our border is open, we have uh, skyrocketing inflation. We are the only thing that can stop what's happening with this authoritarianism, the communism from the left. We even had a Democrat get up on the floor today that said she was honored to uh, vote for Hakeem Jeffries from the People's Republic of Brooklyn. <laughs> Last time I knew, New York State was not a communist regime, was right. not the People's Republic of China. So this is the kind of people that are, are on the left laughing and mocking us while we need to really get a speaker in place. We need to get everyone sworn in and we need to get down to the business of fixing inflation and in our economy, getting growth, uh, dealing with the southern border and holding this administration, which is very lawless, accountable. Finally, we've got to get started on it right away. So I hope that we get to a ballot very soon. I, I appreciate and understand uh, the concerns that people have. But guess what? Festivus is over. The time for grievances is over. We need to come together. We need to stick together as a group. Otherwise, we're failing the American people. Claudia Tenney, I was talking just a few moments ago with Newt Gingrich about all this. And really, to me, and I think Newt agreed, this is about personalities, not policies. I don't see the policy dispute. I mean, it's not like Kevin McCarthy is some far left-wing guy, for heaven's sakes. And it's not like the commitment to America, which all of you put together, is in a cogent, uh, conservative, principled message that will stop Biden's radical agenda. It's about personalities. And, you know, Claudia, uh, to me, personality politics is the worst kind of politics. I agree with you 100 percent. And the former speaker, Newt Gingrich, is exactly right. This has now come down to personalities. I've heard grievances such as, gee, Kevin, you voted for an omnibus bill five or six years ago, so we're going to hold that against you. And so we never can support you, no matter how far you go on bending and changing these rules. To be honest with you, I think Kevin has gone far enough. I think these rules, he's made concession after concession. I think it's time to play hardball now and say, look, you need to join the team. We need to stand up for the American people. We need to stand up for a rules package that gives us a strong leader so that we can stand up to the Senate. Remember, as we talked about last time I was on the show, the Senate Republicans are the ones that gave us this $1.7 trillion uh, spending bill mm -hmm. that's going to be leave us stuck and jammed until September. You know, our ability to uh, issue subpoenas and getting, and getting them uh, complied with is going to be without our power of the purse that we're given by the Constitution. There's a lot of issues here at play. So I think the sooner we get a ballot, the sooner we get a speaker and get down to work, I think the better it is for the American people. Claudia, uh, you're, you're on the floor expert voting. I'm not. But um, Mr. McCarthy got 19 vote, 19 nay votes sorry, in each of the first two ballots. Now, I'm s suggesting that that's not such a bad thing. In other words, the 19 hasn't gone to 30 or 35. He originally had, you know, I mean, he won the majority leader, but the majority vote earlier, but I think he lost 30 something votes. So far, the nays haven't ballooned. Um, is that a good sign for Kevin McCarthy, in your judgment? I do, and I think that there's a lot going on in the social media world. A lot of conservatives don't really understand what's going on here with the sausage making and inside baseball, and that we need to govern. And the alternative is the other side. 
and uh, they're mocking and making fun of us and grandstanding on the other side of the floor because guess what? We're doing this to ourselves. It's not them. But I think we're going to bring it together. And I think that, again, it's the petty grievances. I think those 19 are going to eventually turn over to supporting Kevin McCarthy. You know, look, we're never going to get a perfect speaker. We've never had one. As much as I love Newt Gingrich and speakers in the past, we have never had a perfect speaker. Uh, and now we have an opportunity to put a Republican in place who said he's willing to work with us, he's willing to make concessions, which he's done. Honestly, I think in some cases he's gone too far. But we can do another rules adjust once we get a speaker in place and we get control of the House. Thank you, Congressman Claudia Tenney. You're terrific. We appreciate your time. You all go and vote now. Thank you for coming on. Thank you.